Sorry about the technical difficulties there. It looked like we went offline for not sure how long, but these are holding a 6-0 lead against Manitowoc and just at the start of the fifth inning. And first pitch from Weston Nelson is going to be a strike. Brandon Wolsheim up to that. And there is a the ball just outside. And one high, and it looks like Fenner is going to go talk to Nelson out on the mound. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two, evening count at two and two. And there's strike three, he's going to look at that one. That's one out now. And here's Sam Osesek now to bat for Manitowoc. And there's the ball high. And swing and a miss for strike one. And there's another swing and a miss for strike two. One and two count now. And there's a ball just low. And there's strike three for out number two. And here's Brian Talaha, Manitowoc back at the top of their order. And swing and a miss for strike one. We hit right past Harry Stelt, but then he grabbed it short and thrown to Taylor Grimm. But it'll have to come up the base, and out will not be made. Stelt missed it, and Amundsen had to run back there and grab it. Pitcher number 50, Phil Clark. And here's Phil Clark up to bat now, playing the mound tonight. Now we'll be it way up into the stands. And there's another foul ball. That'll be a ball just low. <laughs> and that one will 
one will be just outside and looks. Two and two count now to Phil Clark. We'll see if Weston Nelson can take him himself. And there's another foul ball. right over Nelson and throw will be made just in time for the out that's three outs and we're going into the bottom of the fifth inning with the A's still leading six to zero And here's Taylor Grimm to lead off the A's in the bottom of the fifth inning. A's have a hefty lead of 6-0 to zero against Manitowoc. And there will be a fair ball. It will just be fair and Grimm is going to go all the way for second and he will make it there. And that'll be behind Fleischman. And Taylor Grimm was going to round third. Oh, he did round third and looked like he was looking at home, but Lumen told him to stay at third. And Fleischman will hit that one way up in, in the center field. And there goes Taylor Grimm to score another run. Bringing it to 7 0 Sheboyganes. And 
shortstop number 14, Carter Amundsen. And here's Carter Amundsen up to bat now. And that'll be a ball away inside. And there's another ball, 2 and 0 count now. And there's another ball inside. And there's strike one. Ball four will be called, and Amundsen will be sent to first. Catcher number six, Hayden Fenner. And here's Hayden Fenner bat now. And there's strike one to Fenner. And pitcher will look to get Evanson at first, but unsuccessful. That'll be called the ball, one and one count now. And Fenner is going to hit that one into left field and it'll be caught and back goes Amundsen to first. Robert Hagedorn to bat now. And there's strike one. Pitcher looks to get Amundsen again, but will still be unsuccessful. There's strike two. Oh, and two now for Robert Hagedorn. And that'll be called just the ball outside. Hagedorn will hit that one to the shortstop and it'll be thrown to first for the out. That's three and we go into the top of the sixth inning with Sheboygan leading seven to zero now. Looking to hold Manitowoc and come back and score some more runs.
here's Dylan Urbanik to lead off Manitowoc as we start the, the sixth inning. He's still holding a 7-0 lead. And see if they can hold him here and there will be a foul ball to third base side. Be a ball low and outside. And another fall ball. There, one and two count now. And here's the one and two pitch from Nelson, and that'll be hit into center field, and that will be grabbed by Blake Fleischman for out one. Center fielder, number 22, Brian Afsali. Ryan off Zali batting. And that'll be called the ball outside. And there'll be hit right between first and second, and off Zali will be safe at first. That'll be a ball way inside. And there's strike one, and Fenner will throw to second, and there will be an out at second on the steal. outs now with a one and one count. And that would be a ball low. Swing and a miss for strike two. That brings the count to full. And swing and a miss, and there's strike three for out three. A's holding their 7 to 0 lead and heading into the bottom of the sixth inning.
And number 31, Dylan Dieter leads off Sheboyganes in the bottom of the sixth inning. And there's a strike for the first pitch. Swing and a miss from Deterred for strike two. And that'll be a ball just outside. Swing and a miss for strike three and out number one. Just a and here's Dan Barra coming up to the plate now. Fielder, number four, Dan Barwet. And foul ball to first base side. And there's strike two, one and two now. And there's the ball outside and in the dirt. That'll be called a ball high. Full count now. And here comes the full count pitch to Hayden Dan Barwick. And ball four. And puts a runner on base for A's now. Here comes Wyatt Olson. Right fielder, number 34, Wyatt Olson. And there will be a foul tip for strike one. Pitcher will step off and look to get Barwick out, but Barwick will do a bunny hop and be safe. Yeah. And again, looks, but still unsuccessful. And one more time. Ball low and in the dirt. be another ball for a 3-1 count now.
And here comes the 3 1 pitch. And swing and a miss for strike two. And Olsen will hit that one right to short and flip to second for one out and throw to first just late and Olsen will be safe. That's two outs for the A's now and the runner just on first and here comes Harry Stelt. Third baseman, number 19, Harry Stelt. There will be a strike on pitch number one. And Stelt will hit that one way up and into left field. And catch for out number three. Go into top of the seventh inning with A still holding the lead seven to zero. And Blake Campshire leads off Manitowoc as we start seventh inning here. And there will be a ball for the first pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. And there's strike two, one and two count now. And there's another swing and a miss for strike three. That's one out already. Brennan Willard now. And that'll be a pop and Nelson will go and grab that one and there's out number two. Never ever. Second baseman number two, Brandon and Here's 
Here's Brandon and Wallashine. Hopper to flashing at second and throwing to Grim at one for out number three. Quick inning and we go into the bottom of the seventh inning. He's still holding their 7-0 lead. And here's Taylor Grimm to lead off the A's as we start at the bottom half of the seventh inning. And that'll be a ball inside. strike one and ball outside and fall ball into the backstop bringing the count to two and two Fall ball from Grimm into the backstop. And Grimm will hook that one foul again. will be hit way up into shallow right and will be grabbed by second baseman for out number one. Second baseman number 35, Blake Fleischman. And here's Blake Fleischman up to bat now. There's 
ball too. And there's strike one. We're going to hit that one way up into left field. And there's catch as well for out number two. And here's Carter Amundsen to bat now. Shortstop number 14, Carter Amundsen. See if Amundsen can get on base for the A's. And there's another high flyer, and I want to be caught by the short, and that's out number three. And we go into the top of the eighth inning. A's still holding a 7 0 lead. Pitching change for the A's into the game comes A.J. Alessi. Hello everyone, I'm Jared Erdman here to bring you the last couple of innings at Wildwood Baseball Park. So Alessi replaces Weston Nelson who gave up no runs. The Mantuag Bandits have yet to score a run. They did get four hits against Nelson. He had nine strikeouts and three one, two, three innings. A looper that will be caught by Taylor Grimm over by first base. Sam Sesic was the batter. That was quite a play. Out number one here in inning number eight. Brian Talaha, the leadoff man for the Bandits, now at the plate. It is seven to nothing, A's. Scored one or more runs in the second through fifth innings. Yeah, I've gotten the seven hits thus far. Strike one called on Talaha. Bandits, for their part, have only scored 40 runs 
in northeastern Wisconsin League play in the entire season. 18 games. One and two now to Talaha. Unless he sends one in, this one fall back. Fenner going back for it, and he makes the catch. Here is the pitcher, Phil Clark. Clark takes a strike. That one got the outside corner. Next one takes a fortuitous bounce off the mound right to Amundsen. Throw a little wide, but Grimm stretches. And that's three up, three down in inning number eight. Score remains seven to nothing with the A's coming up in the bottom. This is Sheboygan A's baseball. Brought to you by Qmart. Fenner, Hagdorn, and Dietert will be the A's batters here in the eighth. Phil Clark still on the mound for the Manitowoc Bandits. And he sends in a curve that's too low. Ball one. Fenner, for his part, is one for three tonight with an RBI single that came back in inning number two. It's two and all to him now. Breaking ball, that one caught the corner. It's two and one. He's looking for their 31st win of the season. And playing a crucial game in the Northeastern Wisconsin League. Hit lifted high into left center. It is caught. That's out number one. Here's Rob Hagdorn, who's gone 0 for 3 in his first three at-bats of the year 2015. Hagdorn, a pitcher, is pushed into the designated hitting role tonight. Takes one inside. So trying to get on base for the first time this year. 
swing and a fall back to make it even at one. Pretty good crowd here tonight at Wildwood Park. Some of them are already filed out. There are over 500 people here at one time. Now a chopper to third, and Hagdorn will be aboard. Was bobbled, and that will be an error. But Hagdorn, I'm sure, is just happy to be on base. He'll take it. Dylan Dietert will be up. So over 500 people here. The first base sign was just about filled and quite a few people in the grandstand and a good amount of people up the third base line as well here in the stands at Wildwood. Some have filed out. A's have had the lead since the second inning where they scored one. Of course, Manitowoc... Has yet to score one. A pass ball, and Hagdor not quite sure what to do. He should have been on second, but looked a little surprised by that one. So he stands at first. The count is 2-0 to Dietert. And again, this the last regular season home game for the A's in 2015. They hope to get some home playoff games. Playing for home field advantage in the semis here. Home field advantage in the championship series. Maybe out of reach. Menasha would need to lose a couple. There are two remaining games, and the A's would need to win out for that to happen. The A's most likely looking at a one more home game in 2015, and we'd love to have you here for that. Center fielder, number four, Dan Barwick. Dan Barwick, the batter, and we'd love to hear have you here at Wildwood Baseball Park for... Any more games the A's may play here this season? The A's would also love to have you at their annual golf outing. The Sheboygan Athletic Club will be holding its annual golf outing and dinner on Sunday, August 23rd. Fly ball into shallow center now. It is caught for out number two. And that golf outing will be at Town and Country. It's going to be a blast. We'd like you to participate. Golf will be a scramble format open to anyone. Men, women, mixed couples. There will be prizes, lunch on the course, and vouchers redeemable for beverages and dinner at the 19th hole and now a hit into center and Hagdorn comes around to score his first run scored Rob Hagdorn gets his first run in an A's uniform and Dylan Dietert will advance to second as Wyatt Olson gets an RBI single run number eight and here is Harry Stout and he could end this with one swing of the bat. So the snipe, golf, scramble. In addition to the golf, there'll be a variety of games and contests, raffle prizes, auction items, and also the A's final 10th inning gathering of the year. And, of course, the camaraderie of being part of Wisconsin's finest amateur baseball program. 
And if you'd like to be a part of it, you can fill out the registration form and send in your money via check, or you can pay online. And now Harry Stelt sends one up the left field line. He'll head to second. Dirt will slide in under the tag. Rather, that's Olsen who slides in under the tag as Dieter scores. First baseman, number nine, Taylor Grimm. RBI double for Harry Stelt. And here is Taylor Grimm. And a base knock here would most certainly end it. It's... Nine to nothing, and the mercy rule will be in effect. He's with runners aboard second and third. Off-speed pitch, and this one looks like it'll get down. It does, and that is the ball game. Taylor Grimm with the walk-off RBI single in the eighth. That means we will not need to play the ninth. Game summary for the A's. Ten runs, ten hits, no errors. Line score for Manitowoc. For Manitowoc no, runs, no runs, four hits, four errors committed for the A's. Ten runs on as many hits, no errors committed. Weston Nelson, the winning pitcher for the A's, the losing pitcher, Phil Clark. Time of the game, two hours and two minutes. And this one, a very important victory for the A's. The Mandawak Bannets go down again. And their season record will fall and their standing will remain at the bottom in the basement. They are 1-18 and 18 now in the Northeastern Wisconsin League. Even though they failed to score a run tonight, they did have some bright spots. Brian Afzali did not fail to get on base. He went 2-for-2. Two with a double, a single, and also a walk. Their leadoff man, Brian Tahala, went two for four. Those were both singles. Other than that, there was not much to write home about for the Manitowoc Bandits. The A's, for their parts, putting, putting up ten runs, and pretty much everyone contributed. One that struggled was Dylan Dietert. He did finally get a walk in the eighth. Went 0 for 4 tonight. Had a walk and a run scored there in the eighth. Wyatt Olson did not fail to reach base tonight. He went 2 for 5. Two runs scored and an RBI. Harry Stelt went 2 for 5. Two RBI and those hits were both doubles. Blake Fleischman went one for four with the triple, two RBIs, and two runs scored. And Weston Nelson, the winning pitcher for the A's, he struck out nine. And he did not walk that many Manitowoc Bandits. In fact, just one. Nine strikeouts to one walk. For Weston Nelson in a victory, making him 3-1 and one on the season, giving him a, another complete game. That will be his third complete game of the season. That will also greatly help his ERA, allowing no runs, and helping the A's to their 31st victory of the season. They have two more regular season games. They will be traveling for both of those. They'll be going to Green Bay tomorrow night and then to Appleton on Thursday. Both those games are at 7.30, and 
And those will be crucial for determining the regular season standings and who gets home field advantage in the Northeastern Wisconsin League playoffs. With that, the A's improved to 13-5 and five in the new. And if they take the next two, they'll be guaranteed second place. And if they win one of the next two, in fact, they'll be guaranteed. So unless they lose the next two, they'll have it. A couple of key road games here. The A's will be up to it. They've been strong down the stretch, and we'll see what they get. A resounding victory tonight, 10 to nothing over Manitowoc. And they have some momentum here, including the forfeit by the Illinois Legends. The A's have a six game winning streak going. That's their longest of the season. And they'll take it up to Green Bay tomorrow night. I'm Jared Ertman. Thank you for listening. Have a good night, everyone.